Hello everyone, Maria McKay here, and welcome back to part 21 of my Fable Let's Play. Okay, let's explore not a whole glade a little bit. Get some of the containers and keys that are in this area. A real hero. You kind of have to be careful about opening containers in towns because some of them actually belong to people. Like if they're in a store, don't open them. It's, it's deceiving, I know. It's like, well, these are scattered all over Albion, but this one here in the store, this is actually someone's treasury or something. Okay, pub game in there. There's a silver key berry here in this uh, ring of ferns. Makes 14. And there's a house for sale up here. I know where another silver key is, but I just must have ran right past it. If I can get one more, I can open a lot of containers. Including one for better... Um, better crossbow. Oh crap. Back up. Oh, I didn't manage to roll out of that one in time. Yay! Yay! Yeah, there's the arena down there. Ha! Yes, there's a dig spot right by this gargoyle here. In Witchwood Lake. So now I can go back and open up that um, silver key chest in the demon door that the archaeologist was stowed away in.
there's an important question. Oh, card. whoops. <laughs> But yeah, we were gonna look at that letter from Teresa, weren't we? Oh well, I I will get this first. Bloody Balverines. Actually, the damn Balverines seem easier to kill than those skin. Um, mercenaries or whatever they are. Wait a minute. Oh, the same... Same books are here a second time? Elf. Is that it? For 15 keys? Dear brother, I've always known we were special, and now I've found proof. This book tells of a bloodline from the, uh, the days of the old kingdom and its connection to a sword powerful enough to rule the world. A bloodline mother belonged to, I'm certain, a bloodline you and I belong to as well. Perhaps with your eyes you will understand it better than I do. I speak to the pages, but they don't speak back. Bloodline. How long is this? Oh, well, it's not too long. Though the, though the old kingdom vanished centuries ago, pieces of it remain scattered through Albion. The guild is, a is, it, is its a magnificent glory, ruined architectural corpses, dark and unholy secrets throbbing beneath the earth. But more survives than stone and magic. There is still among us the living legacy of the kingdom itself, a lineage that is connected to... Connected with all of that, made the kingdom great, and somehow ended up destroying it. Whether they are the descendants of the Archon himself, or the makers of the sword, or perhaps those who managed to extinguish its power, is not known. Though generations separate them from the days of the fall, there walk today survivors of this bloodline, and ancient power courses through their... Through their veins. They may live as heroes or they may hide among the masses, but they're linked to the sword wielded by the Archon himself. The Sword of Aeons is confirmed in all the documents I have unearthed. If I can find the living descendants of this bloodline, I may be able to uncover what happened to the, to the sword. Perhaps the days of the Old Kingdom can be restored. There's one whom all signs direct me. Though she lives a quiet life now, she has done much to mark, uh, to mark her as the one. And now the bloodline continues to her children, a son and a daughter. The power that lies in her will be passed on to them one day. Okay. So your you're basically the, the descendants of the Archon of the Old Kingdom. And all the heroes in um, the Fable games are your descendants. So, um, we get to Fable 2, even though you don't know it, you're a descendant of, you know, the Archon. And you're actually descended from this guy right here. Um. Okay. All right. So, um, which would. Great wood. 
good. Oak blades, oak veil. All right, I think great wood color skates. No chicken chaser to me, uh, but then again, I ain't <laughs> Bastard. That one explode. Oh, him. <laughs> oh shit! I guess I got a little too close to that one. Ow! What the card of the guild for you?
Yay! Oh, I wish they didn't do that quite so much. Alright, now I can open this one. Just give me Arkin's crossbow. Whip. Let's take a look at it. Got three augmentations. Silver, flame, and piercing. In the massacre of Oglen, Arkin was left for dead amongst uh, among the rest of the fallen army after it succumbed to a surprise attack. He put together this crossbow from the pieces scattered throughout the battlefield and used it to hunt down every last one of the ambushers. Cool. Now I have it. Alright, back to the guild. I think that's all the 15 key chests that I can open in the areas I've visited so far. Take the arena quest card. All right, arena. I'm going to save the game right here, just in case. This new crossbow. Ouch. Fucker. What the hell?
Dang it. a lot of hits. Enough is enough. Damn, I hit it all the time with the bow and I'm still hacking on it. And finally, guys. I really need to increase my... Um, well, you know what, um... I'll end part 21 here. I need to go back to the... I, sh I shouldn't have left the guild. I should have gotten uh, a really useful spell and done my... Uh, a little bit on my archery skill because uh, <laughs> I'm going to need it for the arena. So, uh, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you guys later.